So I'm kind of curious, kind of intrigued by what's happening. And I click on it and lo and behold, we see Insect Tribal. And how could I resist? So we have it built right here. And uh, we're gonna give it a go. Basically, you plus Grist, and you get to live the dream that I've wanted to live in Yawgmoth forever, which is just crapping out a bunch of insects. So you essentially have 20, if you have one Grist in play, you have 23 hits off the the Grist. So basically a third of your deck, right? Hex Parasite's an insect, 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 now. I don't necessarily know about some of the choices, like the Chalice here. Like putting Chalice on one in a deck that has 13 one-drops. So I'm not really sure about this. Kind of maybe a little sketchy, but... Maybe we can get our one drops on underneath. And we also, there's also an Urza Saga here. And I'm pretty sure there's some interactions with Hex Parasite and Urza Saga that we're going to learn about. And this should be a fun little deck. And of course, we have Swarm Yards. Regenerate, target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel. Fortunately, it does not regenerate blacks, who are insect lord <laughs> all right one swarm yard should be an herborg i think i'm more inclined to switch this with an herborg let's do that herborg um i want to get my swarm yard value in you know what i'm saying the swarm yard is going to be where it's at all right let's jam in a league Modern League of Bugs Life. Predictions! How do people think we're going to do in this thing? Yeah, we can't get through the chalice with the insects. The mind games, I get it. Was Hard of the Swarm one of the names? I said For the Swarm. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks to this deck. And we're going to need to use all of our little brain to, use to figure it out. But... There's all kinds of cool stuff we could do. I just want to search for blacks. All right. Haywire might. Fear our turn one. Now the question is, are we going to saga on two? If we saga on two, then we can't grist on three. So I think we grist on two. I definitely want a Gris next turn. Insect. I want to just, I want, I need this. I need to plus Grist and hit like seven insects. That's what I need. How's Grix? Terrible. Terrible. It's just inconsistent. That's it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grist is a creature spell. Moto suggests everything that's in play, right? So it suggested monkey, pirate, and insect. So it suggests anything on the battlefield. Uh, yep. Alright, we gain two life here. 22. Alright, let's go. This has to be the greatest Grix of all time. Swarm yard. <laughs> Alright, so now we play Saga. Always yields. And we go... <laughs> and now we plus the Grist. Yes. Now we go green, black, Grist. Misplaced Ginger. Thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome everyone. We are deep in the sauce tank, as we often are. And we're going to plus this Grist, and we're going to hit 17 insects. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, buddy. All right. 
<laughs> we did it. That's all we wanted to do. This is our goal. Yo. Yo. <laughs> this three one a prelim. Don't. A preliminary. All right. This is all we wanted to do. This is it. Ledger Shredder connive. Yeah. Cool Ragavan nerd. All right. All right. So they're one like thingy away from. Does Gris just go up? Hmm. Hmm. Do we pop off the Gris bomb again, or do we kill the Shredder? Gris goes up. Oh, just one. It's just not fair. Uh, I guess I'll just make Saga tokens. Yeah, at least we got rid of a land. <laughs> Spinning the wheels. All right, we were gonna. What were we gonna get? What do we were? What were we gonna get with this saga? They couldn't handle it. All right, so I guess we want dismembers. I guess we can probably use relic, and we probably can cut haywire mites. They're a little underpowered, and. We could probably cut... Yeah, they don't really have anything for Haywire Mites. Okay. It's jam. Child Sign 1 doesn't seem terrible against them, right? I mean, we just go Vile. We could actually probably play the Relic first. We probably go Relic on 1. Hmm. This is tough. Mutafall is an insect, that's true. Um, maybe we should have kept in the mites because they're going to have blood moons. Yeah, relic into double vial. It seems not not bad. Relic. Boink. All right, let's just do that now. So we can get our nice F6 value. Huh. Whoa. Do we think we jam a chalice on one? Uh, yeah, I think we just jam Chalice on one. We will leave it to them to destroy the Chalice. We'll leave it to them to destroy the Chalice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have nothing to violin, I agree. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is what it's all about. Insect. 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 Ba, 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 ba. The dream. And no whammies, no whammies, and. All right. Okay. I'll take two. Take two, two at a time. Two at a time. All right. <laughs> what are we going to get off the Urza Saga? Is there a way to get Hex Parasite? I don't think there is a way, right? We can't get Hex Parasite and save the Saga, right? Um. All right. 
Let's make a person. Who knows what we're going to get here. Yeah, we need the second saga, I think. All right, so now we're going to get uh, a file. No, I think we get a hex parasite. I mean, none of these cards have any text on them. I guess we just get drum. It's spring leaf drum. And then we'll play this on insect. And then we will tap the construct. Play the insect. It does. Hex Parasite would probably have been a better thing to get. Dress down. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yield to the turn. Well, they don't get any cards. We don't get to take one of their cards. Maybe we should have got a Hex Parasite, but... Like, we're just all in on this Grist. I guess Chalice of the Void protects Grist from Unholy Yeet, which is like the only thing he's scared of, they're scared of. Maybe one of these should have been on... I literally can't do anything. GG's. Bolt, okay. Mm -hmm. Took down Merc Dead. Unlosable. Greatest matchup ever. Literally can't do anything as a double negative. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> Alba Motolo. Abel Motolo. All right. So what does this hand do? We have turn one Hex Parasite into turn two Brain Maggot. Into... We don't have Gris, but we're keeping. We have Hex Parasite. Uh-oh. We're in the Copper Line Navy. I should. Doesn't really usually feel good to do that. We'll see what they do. This is not this is not what I like to do in life. That's not the best way to answer a so spare. Brain maggot. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Probably take this here. God, I can't beat any of these cards. Guess I take a bolt. I can't beat any of those cards. At least this gains four life when it dies. Oh, ho, ho. actually, I don't think I play this on. I think I play Chalice X equals two, right? I don't think I play it. Blurg. Yeah. We'll play Blurg. <laughs> they bolted me. No respect for Blurg. All right. Child sex equals two. Oh, they didn't kill the thick guy. Bump, 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 bump. Blex. Thunderous Wrath? Oh my god, we're the Thunderous Wrath bracket? Oh, hell yeah. It's been a long time. Since I've been Thunderous wrath Listen, apparently... Thunderous wrath my... <laughs> it's serious business. I gotta pay... We gotta be serious, you know? Alright, let's play this. 
<laughs> play this. Let's play this. Attack with Blarg. <laughs> Blarg, too strong! Blurg, too strong! I always knew Blurg was too strong. Alright, let's get these dismembers out of here. I guess Endurance has text on it. Uh, Blacks was way too strong in that game. Alright. We got this. Uh, do we have... We don't have... Alright, well, let's, let's do this for next time. Next time, we need this. We're going to put this in for next time. Probably over some of these other cards. Uh, I guess we're keeping... Thunderous Wrath Membrane. Okay. I'm uh, going to play my... Haywire Might. Sacrifice Haywire Might. Exile up to one target non-artifact. Non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment. But he does gain two life. Crawl Harpooner actually, like, rocks. I don't... I think I take the five here. Maybe I don't. Griss the Hunger Tide. I guess I take this five, right? Maybe I can get to Blarg and then trade with one of these. I mean, obviously, everyone needs their Blargs. So, uh, I don't think I have time to mess with the Saga. I guess we could play the Saga now, right? Because we're going to be on three for the rest of the game. So, let's go Harpooner. Yield. Okay. What is this? It fights a flyer, right? No. All right. Blex Blarg. Blex. Stop it. Stop doing this stuff. All right. So they're setting up here for... What are they setting up for? If we block here and they go Artarka's Command, we're just toast. So let's block here. If they Artarka's Command me, this is 7 plus 3. We go to 2. I guess I have to chump. I'm fearing the Artarka's command. Jeez, that's fucked up. That's really good against me. Alright, let's play... We're we just playing blacks. I think we're just playing blacks here. Blacks. All right. Maybe Gris Plus would have been better there, but it's a bit of a gamble. Or drawing Realm Walker. All right, let's block that. Go to four. All right, so we're going to go one green. We're going to float the mana here. And then we're going to get Haywire Might because it gains us life. And then we're going to play this insect. And we're going to go black, green, grist. And we're going to play haywire mite. And we're going to plus. How many grist? Oh. Realm Walker is kind of sick with Grist. So you could like play your. You like know if you're going to pop off with Grist. Moto's bugged. I know. I need I need at least a plus seven here off this Grist. Alright. Um, we're drawing Chalice of the Void. I guess we just double block this one. Block here. 
Right, we got we could just gain four here. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Yep. All right. So realm walker chalice on two. Let's put the realm walker in play. One, two. Play the realm walker. We have to leave up our swarm yard to regenerate target insect. All right, I'm gonna plus. I'd much rather get multiple grist things. How many grists? Oh, that's not too good. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, we're 13 life against burn. This is a great. This is great. Um. Let's just kill this thing. We're gonna get to regenerate our bug. Regenerate target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel. Uh, insect. Yeah. Doing it. Sure. They saw through the swarm yard play. Why not rat? We're insects. This is an insect de deck. That's why not rat. Come on now. Uh, plus. Boo! Uh, I guess we'll play this. And we'll chalice on one. And we have insect here. If they attack, we'll make an insect. One, two, three, make a thingy. Block. One, two, make you. Search our library for a card. I would like another come back. I was gonna get another haywire mite. Insects too strong. Nobody can stand up to the power of the swarm. Insects too strong. Undefeated two oh four oh tier tier zero. S tier. Don't let Gris get banned. We got to be careful because Gris will get banned. Okay. What the fuck is this hand? This sounded a little bit too much clunk. Not enough Grist. All right, we'll keep this. Right, we're playing against Hammer with four main deck mites. Matches this deck with Shadow Sphere? Yeah. I don't know why Shadow Sphere is not in the deck. Hmm. If they have two hammers, we're dead, right? It's just the way it is. Mm hmm. Okay, yes. Uh. No, it's sacrifice. This is sacrifice, so you can't regenerate a sacrifice. I shouldn't have played this. I should have just let be, been able to block this, right? I should have just let them attack, vialed in a haywire might, and then regenerated it. That would have been way cooler. That would have been way cooler than this. But I fucked that up. Block. I want that hammer out of here. I want that hammer out of here. Get out of here. 
Okay. Oh, yes. Search up a cauldra. I think you want to get a cauldra. I think cauldra would be really good here. Colossal hammer. Yes. Haywire might. Untap. Up. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is too stupid. Insect. Okay. I'm going to brain mag at them. I will take your colossal hammer. That belongs to me now. That is my hammer. All right. When Crawl Harpooner enters a battlefield, choose up to one target creature you don't control with flying. Crawl Harpooner gets plus X. It's on a turn. You may have Crawl Harpooner fight that creature. Guess what? Fucking Ornithopter. You're about to get harpooned. Bonk. All right. This is the perfect meta deck, right? We're ready for ornithopters. Get harpooned. All right, Esper Sentinel, I suppose. I suppose we'll allow an Esper Sentinel here. <laughs> what are we doing? What we're we've got brain maggots and insect tribal. Oh, imagine! Imagine if we draw a blurg. Thopter got harpooned. Imagine we draw a blurg here. Can't lose. Uh, I guess we put it at three for blurg. Oh, all right. Well, do we let him know the secret tech of the spring leaf drum? No, we got to hold it. All right, let's swing this harpooner. We got to start getting in some damage somehow. All right, got him on the ropes. <laughs> this deck's great. It's the greatest deck ever made. This deck needs Luris. This deck needs a lot more than Luris. <laughs> All right, we need to draw Grist here. We're gonna have to put this on no. Eh, maybe. But I think, I think leaving something in our hand when we have Aether Vial for three represents, you know what I mean? Like, we want to be mysterious, you know what I mean? Mysterious. We want them to, like, swing these stupid things at us. We should play Zibzab. Is that an insect? Zabaz. Next time. All right. All right, so I can set... Always no to this and keep it at three. Uh, okay. Always no. Always yield. We'll just leave it at three. All right. Now, now we can play the drum. And we will pay for it with the cavern. What are we doing here? What is happening? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna kill that thing. While well, they're tapped out. And then I'll pay nothing, I'll pay the one. Um, I guess I just want this in play. Hmm. We'll hold it. We'll pretend to be mysterious. I guess I'm going to turn off auto yields. I'm going to attack with the brain maggot. See if they want to trade one of these for this. Okay. 
We just need to draw a grist. That's all we need to do. We just need to draw a grist. Well, it looks like somebody drew a colossal hammer. Guess we'll block Stoneforge Mystic. What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, give us Blarg. No. Bro! It's not going according to plan. They're drawing crap, we're drawing crap. Uh, 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 uh. We just need our Gris Plus, that's it. We just need our Gris Plus, that'll make us happy. Grist Plus. Grist, Blarg, any of those cards would make us very happy. Uh, ba -ba 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 No. Mm -hmm. Guess we're gonna cast this. Ba -ba -ba. What is in your hand? Scardazade, you say? Okay, well, I'll take your Scardazade. I'm just gonna play this. Mmm... Attack. Turn off auto yields. I will let you test my ability to use the swarm yard. Nope. They don't want to test my ability to figure out how to use the swarm yard. Alright. Pure steel paladin. Okay. We should probably kill this Pure Steel Paladin. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Right, if they draw a hammer, they're equipping it anyway. Alright, can we draw... Always no. Always yield. Harpooner? Um... Guess we're playing Harpooner here. Just so we can have a gang block of everything. Just so we can, like, block, 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 block. Okay. Oh, fuck. I should have sandbagged the Harpooner. Uh-oh. That card's a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's draw Grist. Can we draw Grist? Can we draw Blurg? Dismember. Hmm, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we probably dismember the Pure Steel Paladin and attack with both of the Harpooners. Attack, attack. Um, I guess we'll hold the Dismember. We'll hold the dismember. We have to be careful though. We can't let them get a card off this. Okay. Yeah, we should just kill this paladin. Let's just kill the paladin now. They sandbagged a hammer or something. They got us. Yes. Pay one to prevent this? Yes. Okay, can we draw Grist, please? Grist or Haywire Might or something good. Show me something good. That might not cut it, but I guess Chalice on one is better than nothing. Gets their deck. Yes. Chalice on one's a little late to the party. Alright, if we attack... Now they're, they're gonna just get... Yeah, I mean... I, I don't got a lot of choices, you know? But... 
yeah, Saga's good. Saga's really good. Saga's really good. They probably don't even need it. They could just get Trample Hammer, put the Trample Hammer on the thing, and, like, how the fuck are we supposed to beat it? Well, if they, they should get Trample Hammer and put on the 8-8. That would be pretty good. Yeah. Not enough, apparently. Apparently, I don't play enough creatures. Yeah, we're just dead now. We ain't got shit that deals with that. We weren't drawing anything. Okay. Uh, Pithy Needle on Hammer isn't terrible. More Dismembers aren't bad. Uh, Curl Harpooner is not the best. So let's board like this. Harpooner only killing whatever is not great. Pithing Needle is good on Stoneforge. Yeah, that's that's how Aether Vial works. I don't think Aether Vial should be in this deck, to be honest. I don't think this card should be in this deck. I like just just be something else. Yeah, Hex Parasite can mess with Saga. You can remove counters with Saga. Like we could perpetually make giant star stars. I mean, it's better than most of this stuff, right? It's better than a lot of this stuff. Yeah, but that's that's. Pretty hard to do, considering we're going to want this vial at three, right? We could vial... We could do zibzabs, yeah. More insects. We do have some options. Changeling outcast, maybe. Splash white for brood moth. Jeez. That is a very I play bad deck suggestion. Metallic mimic's actually a real... A better one. Scoot Swarm. Jeez, you could do a lot of stuff with this deck. All we need to do is a Realm Walker. Realm Walker would have been sweet. Would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, I asked for a Realm Walker and I got a Realm Walker. Um, I guess we can keep this hand. What does this deck do well? It's a tough question. I mean, if 5-0, if 3-1 to prelim... So, it pluses Grist well. Yeah, I mean, we do have answers against turn two hammer. We have the dismember. Um, the question is, are we playing the Saga this turn? Or do we want to... I kind of want to play the Saga. I kind of want to play the Saga. I don't know how this interaction works. I really have no idea. Okay, so remove up to X counter from target partner. For each counter, remove this way. X person, so it gets minus one, minus one. Okay, so I could just remove this counter, right? And it dies? Yes? It doesn't die? No. Yes. No, it lives. No, it doesn't die. I think yes. All right. There's only one way to handle this. Science. No, it won't die. It dies if there are more counters and chapters. It will die for science. Wait, I don't have to do that. Hold on. Uh, try this. Pay X. One. Science! Oh. Well, half of chat was right, and the other half was wrong. It doesn't produce mana, though. Right? It, it, it doesn't have mana. 
Does it? it? I guess it does. The ability added it. Alright, well... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's just play aggressed and plus aggressed. Insects? Alright. So then this is going to go to 1, right? This is going to go to 1. So we're going to do an upkeep stop. Alright, alright. I get it, I get it. So we can keep this thing from going and getting the, 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 we can keep it for them from making things. Yeah, we can keep removing the sagas from it and ours forever. They got a colossal hammer. Okay. Um, so wait a minute, I can put the thing on the stack, right? I can put the thing on the stack, and then I can go Floaticolus, choose this, pay one, remove, done. And then we remove, remove, done. And then this resolves, we get Haywire Might, right? We get Haywire Might. Hey, Wyrmite. Then we kill the Stoneforge, or we play the Swarm Yard. Now we kill the Stoneforge with this insect. Sacrifice insect. If they go to pl save it with thingy, we can just dismember it. Kill this. Now we go target this. Pay one, pay one, uh, hold on, target their thing, pay X is one, X is one, done, remove their counter, remove, so this way they can't make people, right, and we go, we grow our guy, and then we go to combat, Begin combat. Attack for three. Look at us go. Maybe I want to remove a counter off mine, too. And get in for an extra point of damage. That's probably fine, too, right? Take this. Pay two. Pay one. Done. Oh, no! I fucked that up. I wanted to tutor for another thing there. Oops. I'm just bloodthirsty. That was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. I wanted to get a tutor. Hmm. Alright, so let's go... Haywire might... Let's just do nothing here, right? We could remove their Saga token. So they can't make a thing next turn. Let's just do that. Uh, black. So we won't have to do it next turn. Let's look at this. Pay this. Pay one. Done. Remove this. I've gone too crazy with this Saga removing. This way they can't make a person next turn, right? Okay. They're working to make this a commander deck. This this is pretty sweet. Sig, com uh, Gris commander, insect commander, blurred commander. Uh, what do we do here? We play this saga. Do we plus here? Do we plus this, or we just kill the pure seal paladin? Let's just plus. Plus. Alright. We have to hold up the green, so we'll just pass.
Okay. So this is going to get interesting. It's going to get interesting this next turn. They have a lot of stuff they could do. We have a lot of stuff we can do. Okay. Pure Steel Paladin, huh? Uh, do I dismember this Pure Steel Paladin in response to this? No, we just let this go. Going to attack us. They're going to attack us. Okay. We can't block. How many hammers do they have? That's the real question. Okay, so we are going to use this might to kill the cigar to Zade. Blacksmith skill the cigar to Zade. Okay, so now we're going to just dismember the ornithopter. Uh, dismember ornithopter. Hold on. Dismember, pay two, pay two, pay one. Okay. That gets exiled. We gain two life. And then we'll just make a token. All right. We get to draw cards here. Okay. All right. Put the triggers on the stack. I guess we want to keep this. Oh, God. What a mess. Um, guess we go here. We go here. We go... Uh, target this. One, two. X is one. No, I guess I just pay the life. I do all life, right? Target this. X. And then one. Done. Remove a counter. Done. Uh, okay. This thing gets... Haywire might? Haywire might. And then we minus here, sack an insect, kill this idiot. Um, the problem is we don't have much green to like do stuff. Um, so we'll attack with this. And we'll attack with this. Um, so now we can play another Grist and kill this. But then we don't have access to this. I guess we're going to do that. I guess we just play another Grist here, right? Make sure they don't have Pure Steel Paladin. Keep this one, sack this, kill that. And we might as well use this, target this. We don't want them to be able to make too many people here. I guess we just wait, right? Okay. Yields. It's getting a little complicated with these sagas. Vile would have been incredibly good this game. We still have to win two games of this, too. Ink Moth Nexus. Gross. I was just going to make a bunch of things. Perfect. Uh... We're just going to get Haywire Mites. Okay, so now we go to our turn. 
So one black, target this, pay one, do this, and remove a counter. Done. I think we need to let this one go. I don't think we could afford to keep paying all this stuff. This one goes. Let's get a pithing needle on Urza Saga to get them. Let's get the pithing needle on Urza Saga to get them. And then let's get um we don't really have an answer for this ink moth nexus. I guess we just get another haywire mite. Maybe we get spring leaf drum. No. I have one haywire. But I want to get some of these cards in our hand in play. So I'm going to get a spring leaf drum. Alright, hold on. So first we're going to plus, then we're going to go green, One, and we're going to play Blurg, one, two, three, and then we're going to play Aether Vial. Oh no, I fucked up. No, I needed not to play the Aether Vial so I could remove the counters from this. Oh shit, I fucked this up. Oh, I just lost the game. God damn it. Just handle aid? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a blacksmith skill I lose. Alright. I should have attacked with it first. That was dumb. I mean, they're dead next turn, regardless. Alright, this is going on way too long here. Yeah, so little time for game three, yeah. That's kind of a rough call. I shouldn't have played the Vile. Right, I have six minutes left. This game's over next turn. I shouldn't have played the Vile. Blacks. All right. They lose their sagas finally. It's a weird game. It's been a very weird game. It's that Borla's Grist for this deck. And you know, Grist is a crazy card. Grix is an absolute bananas magic card. Grix, however, not so much. But Blurg's pretty sweet, too. Yeah, well, the Modern Rises 2 was just bought and bought and bought, but bought, but bought, but bought, but bought. Yeah, opponent doesn't, they don't get that. Can we please move on? Nope. No, we cannot. I wonder what their hand is. Clard Blarg. Blacks. Other pests, bats, insects, snakes, spiders you control. Get plus one, plus one. What dies you gain for life? I don't think that they understand that they cannot use Urza Saga. I think they're struggling with this one. Alright, they got there. They figured it out. They figured it out. Moto bugs. What are they searching for? Do they have ginger brute? No, 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 no. No, we don't need to troll our opponents. We are dead to another paladin. Yep. Dead to a paladin. Ginger brute. This is how we get back ahead on time. Interesting. I wonder if they're naming Hex Parasite here. 
Pithing Needle names Grist. Ornithopter. I was. Why did they have to tank so long? I've been dead. No, I'm dead. I am dead. Yeah, I added it. I added it. I added an Urborg instead of a. I feel like we could have won that game if I played a little smarter. If I just rem remove those things, I should just kept removing the counters. I don't know why I did what I did. That was dumb. Yeah. I shouldn't have played the Vile. I shouldn't have played the Blacks. I should have just kept those fucking Sagas low. I shouldn't have removed the Vile from me the one time. Yeah, I did switch. I switched a... Uh, I switched one... What did I do? I switched one Painland for Urborg. I did uh, edit. I went... Spare, huh? Uh-oh. Error. Well, we're going to play... Saga. And we're going to play a Hex Parasite. Yield. They have two cards. If we can't beat them, we deserve to lose. Maybe I was supposed to, like, wait... Play this Saga on one, play this on two. But there are no cards, so whatever. Okay. Alright, well that saves everything. Crisis averted. We'll just play the Harpooner. Yield. Okay. Nope. Attack. Three mana two threes. Now this this card isn't terrible, right? Right. Special streamer and ice cream man and the. It's a tough one, but uh, I would just eat all the ice cream. So I couldn't. I couldn't be an ice cream man. I would just eat it all and have an ice cream coma. All right. Um. Let's see. How do we do this? I guess, do we want to s just let this go? Or do we want to save it? I don't know about saving it. I guess we could save it, right? Start you, pay to, pay you. Done, remove, done. Search for a spring leaf drum. Spring leaf drum. Play another saga. Just I don't understand why this deck doesn't have an aether vial. That's my issue with the deck. Insect. Insect. The might does gain us life. The rift bolt suspended. All right. Let's. Just make these things. Let's just make these giant tokens and kill them. Uh, let's get a wire might. Play this land. One, two. Brain maggot, you. Brain maggot. Take the Boros charm. And I guess we're just gonna attack with this. Alright. I don't know why they have a blood crypt. They could zap the construct. Sure. Bump in the night, I guess. Attack me. Alright, so we're gonna go one, two. 
Remove a counter from this one to done. Remove done. Uh, okay. We're going to get another haywire mite. Then we're going to play swarm yard. Then we're going to attack for a squillion. I probably don't want to give him Boros Charm back. We'll attack like this. Okay. I could regenerate it, but I want to just make another creature. Right? I'll just make another... If we make another construct, they're dead. We know the card in their hand is Lightning Helix. Okay. Got there again. Uh, let's get rid of the dismembers. Bring in endurances. Cut the dismember. Cut. Like, why is there no... Why is there no fucking Shadow Sphere, right? Uh, let's cut a Realm Walker because it's kind of derpy. At no point if we cast a card off the top of our library with this card. Not yet. What? We're doing stuff. We're trying things. Yeah, I would definitely put Shadow Sphere in this deck. Over Aether Vial. Alright, this hand's okay against Burn, I suppose. We have some Mites. Gain us some life. We have some Pests. Mites, Pests, Haywire Mites. There's a lot you could do with this deck. A lot of design space available. We're drawing a spring leaf drum. I'll play this drum. That way next turn we can go like might 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 parasite or something like that. Brainstorm making Ugh. Ugh! So gross. It's so much damage. So much damage. Alright, so let's go hex parasite. Play Haywire Might. Tap. Play Might. Yield. It could be. You could definitely play Coco. Just. Vile is just such a terrible draw after turn one. So. There's a lot of ways you can go with this. I kind of was even thinking White. For like. There's one card that would be really good in this deck. <laughs> Ab Abandoned Grace or whatever. Just return a one every turn. That'd be kind of sick. Uh, Grist. I'm going to just block this. Just got to gain life. Just got to not die. We're drawing a Grist next turn. We play Grist. We plus it. We hit 17 Grists. All right, Grist. All right, one, two, black. Play this. All right, one, two, three. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Metallic Mimic would be... But Metallic Mimic does not count uh, Grist. Like, it wouldn't count when you plussed for Grist. Which is a little alarming. Next turn, we can Blarg and kill the Goblin Guide. Especially if they tap out. Doesn't look like they're tapping out. Uh, I don't think so. Mimic. Uh... Metallic, and because it's a shapeshifter, it's not a changeling, so it wouldn't count for Grist, right? It wouldn't count for a Grist Plus, I don't believe. <laughs> Alright, let's play Blurg. Let's play Blurg. 
I'm talking about when you plus with Grist, right? I'm gonna Blurg fight this and hopefully gain four. You may sacrifice a creature. Blurg. Gain four life! Busted! Yeah, it'd be cool to play, but it wouldn't work for the milling. But it is cool to play, for sure. Yeah, like this Aether Vial here doesn't look great. Maybe I'm just an Aether Vial hater. Maybe I just hate the Aether Vial. I think I am. But, like, what am I supposed to do with, like, this late in the game? I just hate the Aether Vial. We're about to cast it. It's a 2-3 insect. No. Oh, no, we can't. Hmm. I guess we just play it. Rawr! Maybe it was better to play this there. But, I mean... Look on the bright side. We can always tick this up and then eat the counters with our Hex Parasite. I have to admit, I haven't played with Hex Parasite in a large number of years. It has been a long time since I've played with a Hex Parasite. Okay, okay. No. They smashed my Springleaf Drum. All I wanted to do was play a little Innocent Grist. Take up to Vile up to 10. That's our game plan. Vile to 10. Oh, it's a 7. Man, if there was a way to give this thing haste, it would just dome people. Stop playing. Stop doing stuff. All right. Okay. Yes, goes to 3. Yay. Grist. Show us the Grist. Man. It's not as fun as I want it to be. I want to like plus it to like 40 Grists. Why is it going to be like this? Why does it have to be like this? A way to add shadow. <laughs> All right, so plus. All right, let's go plus you. Oh, I should have should have played the Realm Walker first. Well, got rid of one useless card. All right, let's play Realm Walker. Insect. Boo. All right, so is there a way to do one, two, three? Whatever. Play another Realm Walker. They have two burn spells, I die. Just if we have two if they draw another burn spell, we die. Oh, well that's not a burn spell. Insect. Die. I should have named Pest with this. Cause that way it could have cast a blurg off the top. So I should've I should have done insect and then blurg. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter. All right, so we have five creatures in the graveyard. We have six power in play. They are dead. They are dead, I believe. Hit them. Uh, let's attack with everything first. Be in combat. Be in combat. Attack. Okay. Ultimate Grist. Look at us. Look at Grist. Is this a loss of life? Okay. Yay! Alright, plan for the 4 1. <clears throat> I think I had the tools to beat Hammer. I think I had the tools to beat Hammer. But 
I also think perhaps the sideboarding could use a bit of tuning. What do we cut for Shadow Sphere? Uh, vials, I think. Vials. Um, Sodak. Hey, buddy. Good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. Mm -hmm. Haywire might. All right, so this is probably the Goryeo's Vengeance deck that uses Cookbook. If I had to guess, knowing Sodak, we're probably dead next turn. Yeah, this is probably Goryeo's Vengeance. Knowing Sodak, he's up to no good. Ask the opponent if my deck bugs him. Oh, come on now. No, it'd be this turn. They're thinking about it, but we have Brain Maggot to save us. Help us, Brain Maggot. You're our only hope. Yeah, Sodek runs modern... Um, it used to be modern solutions, but now it's like modern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sodak's never up to any good. Just remember, if you see Sodak, you will not be playing an honest game of Magic. Mm hmm Yep. Ouch. Imagine if we were on the play. Imagine if we're on the play and we get to brain maggot him. Ugh. You might be in trouble. Nice. <laughs> the swarm's coming for you. The swarm. Crawl Harpooner. Okay, okay. No. Alright. Next turn, we have a Grist, plus we have... We might just mite the cookbook. I might just mite the cookbook. So that horrible shit doesn't happen to us again. Grief. Oh, too late. Too late! Asmo? Oh, gross. Too late. Spring leaf drum? Insect. Now we play Grist. Play Grist. Might. Alright. Um. Okay. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe we should have plussed. But. Okay, sure. We're not dead. We are not dead. All right. We're pretty dead here. <laughs> I mean, they're in nine. They have to attack me. Yeah. I mean, we're not... I don't know. They need another land, another discard outlet. They need to, like, thought seize them. I don't know. I don't know. The stack's changed a lot. I don't really know what the latest version looks like. But... Uh... 
Don't really know what the latest version looks like. Close to this. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Probably is very close to this. They're going to one. Just grist. We need an earth. An earth might not be that terrible. They're probably going to hit me. Gut shot. They're hitting me? Yeah, they hit me. Unearthing a grist would be pretty sick. Well, they're going to take our grist. Well, we're just plussing and playing Blarg. I don't see how we're not dead next turn, though. Oh, all right, we're plussing and doing nothing. Plussing and doing nothing. Thinking about the sideboard games. Uh -huh. I know they have another cookbook, another Asmo. They could probably get another cookbook. I guess we have to plus and get two insects here. Yeah, I think this this there's there's a lot that could be done to improve this deck. Let's put it like that. Is that fair? There's a lot that we could do to improve this deck. Step one. We need to plus and get like three or four insects off this grist. Plus. We need like three or four. Oh yes. Oh, baby. I have lived the dream. Blurg. Blurg. Don't hammer cool me, bro. Now all we have to do is live one turn. <laughs> I mean, they... I mean, in fairness, they've used two Gorios. So maybe they don't have another Gorios. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Pithy Needle. Relic. Endurance. 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 Dismember doesn't do anything. Get fucking Aether Vial out of here. Uh, Cursed Totem stops the dude. Cursed Totem might actually be good. Probably better than Realm Walker. Alright. Uh. No, it doesn't work like that, right? Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, it targets one or more permanents you control, then you create a Taki. Whenever a spell everybody controls, you discard a card, create a permanent. They'd have to, like... They would have to choose this, which is not going to happen. That ain't going to happen, Captain. All right. If we were on the play, we just haywire mited their stupid cookbook. And they were in trouble. Would you like to play first? Yes. Oh, boy. Two peatlands. Uh-oh. Nambo. We've discovered a Nambo. Haywire Might plus Curse Totem. Ugh. Rude. What do you got over there? Emmercool? Talisman? Okay. Let's take this here, Gorio's Vengeance. Yield. Interesting hand. Uh, yep. So play the Wish Claw, sure. We're gonna have to Might the Wish Claw. Play Haywire Might. 
We might... The Wish Claw. We had a, a, a big grist. We had a big grist. All right, we want Chalice on two. Um, okay. Do we want Chalice on two here? Or do we want to play the Curse Totem? Chalice on two. So, do I swing this brain maggot at them? No. I can't do... I can't do it. I don't like Cursed Totem either. It shuts off Haywire Might. Right? That's kind of sketchy. Haywire Might's a big important part of our thing. Right? They're going Saga Tokens, and they're going to get a cookbook and grow these things. All right. Mm. And their own Haywire Might. Oh, shit. Yo. I'm the insect deck. Uh, yep. They can fetch it here. Uh, if they do kill it, I will play the curse totem. They go to 10 here. They go to 12 here. They're blowing up my saga. Oh my goodness. Rude. Blurg. Do I want to trade this for this? Give them back this Goryeo's Vengeance? No, I think I could do better. No, I don't think i trade it. The mana base is a little sus. The mana base is sus. Some of the choices are sus. The sideboarding is a little sus, but it's a good... It's a very good idea. It's a very good start. I am very happy, impressed with what they're up to. Yeah. I'm going to take the three here. All right. Well, we do have Pete Lands here. Start gaining some, drawing some cards. Hmm. That's a good draw. I should probably keep this. Attack with the Blurg, homie. I'll trade off Blurg for a Construct token. I'll trade that. That's fine with me. Gain some life. Uh... Yeah, we'll just pass, and if they attack with the Construct, we'll block it with the Endurance, I suppose, and then just beat with the Endurance. We could also draw a card. There's some potential here. You can mess with it. Um... I don't want to put this stuff back in their deck. So I will just put the Haywire decks and the Blurg back in my deck. And then we will block the Construct token. All right. Um, Swarm Yard. Let's draw a card here. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Swarm Yard first in case I drop. But I want them to, like, throw this away. 
Oh, let's see. Let's see if he falls for it. Come on, block it. Okay. Okay. All right. Circuit Mender is an insect. <laughs> Circuit Mender might be better than Realm Walker. Nickard hasn't done anything all day. And then it might be easier to cast on the mana. The only thing you want to cast is Grist. Scoot Swarm. I don't even know what Scoot Swarm does. All I know is it crashes Moto. Grizzlebrand, Emrakul. Fuck. Alright, so their hand is... Emrakul, Emrakul, Emrakul. Alright, well, I'm not dead. Not dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. I only need one shot. Is it is it the Yep. Two, three, five. Okay. So they have two grizzle brands in their hand. So giving them back a Goryo's Vengeance doesn't seem terrific. But this kills them in three turns. Versus this just takes away their toy. This is a faster clock. But this kills us with half their deck. We gamble. No, you can't regenerate Annihilator. Yeah, we just need to luck out with this. Yeah, this is just four turns. Oh, we're just going to play a Saga and, uh... Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Sometimes it's not meant to be. Sometimes it's not meant to be. All right. Let's talk. First of all, pity chest. Let's go. Uh, hot garbage. All right. Let's let's legitimately talk about this. What did you guys think? I mean, keeping the in we were very f I mean, perhaps. Uh Hmm. At no point did we ever cast a card with the Realm Walker. At no point, Aether Vial was just awful. Yeah, Blarg was kind of nuts. So, let's cut this. Let's cut these. Let's bring in Shadow Sphere. These chalices were interesting. Riot devils to make you look at the top card, yeah. Uh, what insects are there? Insect. Oh, boy. You could go pretty deep with this. Circuit Mender. This card might be better than Realm Walker. Just because of, uh... The fact that you gain life, I don't know. This is an insect. Insect ninja, what the fuck? You could sit here and play with these and just think about this stuff like all day. There's so many cards you could play here. Whenever creature control the puzzle puzzle counter, becomes search spell ability, opponent controls. 
Scoot Shambler Fungus Beast. Why is there an insect? Why did this come up when I said insect? Oh, opponent creates an insect creature. Right? There's there's so much you could do with this deck. Uh, but there's some cool shells here. Yeah, you could do Coco. Like, if you keep this deck high CMC, Coco is really good. But I did like this. I like the Swarm Yards, too. I felt the Swarm Yard was really good. If you had placed Curse Totem, I would have won. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, did you know that they were playing Hex? Did you know that they were playing Haywire Mites? Right? I didn't know. Right? I don't know. There's a lot that you could do with this archetype. There's, But it is cool what is happening. I don't know how good it is or what you can do, but I do feel you want a Shadow Sphere. So you could do a lot of cards with this. Like, this card's pretty busted. Skylasher is pretty bu busted against Murktide. There should probably be copies of those. The Dampening Sphere Curse Totem stuff? I don't know about four Curse Totems. But, you know, you could do a lot with this deck. And there's a lot of possibilities here. And I hope you guys find some. And play some. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to do one more. We're going to do one more league tonight. We're going to do... Uh, Alright, so let's stop this. That was that deck. Let's stop that deck. And then we're going to do one more league. But we're going to do a Mardu Grease Fang deck. That... Uh, we're going to do another Grease Fang deck here. And it's going to be pretty cool. But I need to take a couple minutes to... AFK, and then we'll play this one more. We're going to play this deck next.